when you think we, about that, we ducks, can't ducks see. are pretty smart. Oh, they're they smart. Go to a deer feeder and pick up corn. Mm-hmm. But they're not allowed to because it's a deer feeder. I, I don't know why they ate it. The bag clearly said deer corn. Yep. That's right. Not duck corn. It don't make sense deer to me. Corn. Why do people put deer corn on it? <laughs> why does it not just say corn? <laughs> I don't know. I, uh, this deer corn, guaranteed not to be eaten by hogs, squirrels, birds, anything else. Just deer. That's right. Deer. That's it's raccoon deer. corn, if you ask you me. You put this out, deer will eat right here. That's what I don't understand. Hey, look. Marketing. I was looking at that feeder yesterday, mm-hmm. and but I did get a picture. Gluten-free? Of, of this dough oh. with her nose stuck up in there by that spinner. Mm-hmm. Now, all my spinners are bent down. She in there wedging it open. <laughs> They hungry, man. They probably it's all poured out at one time. Open. Imagine what you used to do before you got diagnosed with a deer. You wouldn't go stick your nose in that refrigerator? Well, heck yeah. But I was about to say, how you get to the bottom of that ice cream cup? Now, you just got to get in there. One bite of a time. I guess so. <laughs> well, she taught this little old buck how to do it, too. And then <laughs> she's Sorry. a bad influence. My favorite ones are the raccoons, because you can tell one oh, of them. Oh, slick, no. One I of them slicker that. than the rest. He get up there, he'll spin it for everybody. No, I fixed that. I put Vaseline on the legs. Did that work? They couldn't climb it. Can't Did you get to oh, watch that? Oh, they tried. That? Huh? Can't Did climb you, it. Did you get to watch that? The what? Did you get to watch the raccoons? Oh, I got pictures of them. I'd, I'd pay good money to watch raccoons try and they was trying climb to a climb greased it. up pole. I think that'd just be funny. I'd pay good money to watch Goblin try to climb a greased up pole. So. <laughs> people pay good money to watch yes. people try to get like a hundred dollars off a greased pole. Yeah. Give me my 20% and I'll climb a pole. Oh, fuck. greased? I oh. bet, hey, right now at the stage he's at, I bet you put a Christmas tree tech cake on top of that pole. God will get there. It gets there somewhere. How much you want to bet? Look at it. I'll shoot it down. <laughs> I was about to say, <laughs> weapons. Just start, just start, start eating 18 cake. <laughs> I've seen his truck. He just pulled the whole pole straight to the yeah, ground. Just yeah. gone. Gonzo. Well, we're back. Welcome. I don't know how we got started. We oh, got we started. Oh, yeah. We got started, started on, on that stinking on deer, deer corn. corn. Deer corn, yeah. boys. Deer corn. Well, I killed two ducks this morning that were full of corn. I don't know where in the world they got it, but. I got it from the corn feeder. They didn't get it from me. Right. I was just like, mm. they didn't read you, the bag that said you deer do corn. That, what if you have one that you shot and the game warden comes up and he's got corn in his crop? Can they stick you? No. He'd have to see where you hunt it. Well, I'm just saying. Yeah, I was scared to death I'd get a ticket. Yeah. I really was. I was like, even though we didn't put out any corn, there is no corn on our property. There's some weird law about zone of influence and all of that when people start baiting fields. But, you know, I mean, ducks feed up to 50 miles away. So, like, here's what I'll tell you. Them two ducks had been eating wherever they wanted to. And all I heard was this. <laughs> and I look up and I'm like, huh. Mm. And I went, cat, cat, cat. And they turned and they lit in a decoy that fast. And then they got killed. I shot them both in one shot sitting in a decoy. There you go. Bye. Just efficiency, good efficiency. Twenty-eight gauge, one shot, two kills. Twenty-eight gauge. Call it good. There you go. Yeah, I got a new one, sir. Oh, you ain't seen my new toy. I just got it. Oh, <laughs> you like it? Oh, I love it. You can shoot a three-inch shell out of a twenty-eight gauge now. Yeah, yeah, that's pretty good. Mm. But no, I when I looked at, I because I saw them when they were coming in. I said, boy, them suckers right there. Their necks were swole out to here. <laughs> like just way out and you can see it you know if you duck as much yeah. weekend you can tell when the duck's full of food oh yeah i'm looking i'm like man them sucker got this some rice that's yeah, what i'm yeah. talking about yeah and he wants to go one fine one place yeah where he can sit he needs to sit and take a big gulp of water because yeah. yeah. i'm full up and he sat and he took a big gulp of tungsten and um he gone. that was all that but when i walked over i was like yeah i grabbed him right there and i was like Mm. Acorns? That ain't rice. I was oh, like, right. has, he, has he been eating little red oak acorns, a little small water oak or willow oak or something? So, you know, me inquiring minds, I went, so, ooh. No, that's the yellow gold. <laughs> I said, ooh. And then I felt his girlfriend, and she had it too. So I said, well, they've been together till death do us part. Yeah, that's what Eve did. Yeah. Led Adam astray. <laughs> 
there you go. I think she was fine on the food. The water's what got her on this one. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. The water and wanting to be with friends. That was a bad no. deal for her. But uh no, oh, so there yeah. you go. It's the end of duck season. We got what, about five more days left. That's it. Yeah. Not yep. many. It's almost done with. So not many. And then it's like the saddest time of year because generally February is so cold February. and so wet. You can't fish. You can't do nothing. You just sit inside. Football season's over. It ain't March, so you can't watch basketball. So, really, it doesn't, it ain't a yeah. whole lot going on except for Valentine's and if, Day. And if you go to the duck hole, then it looks like you got the hottest hole in the world. There you go. Yeah. I come from everywhere. Yeah. Si, you reckon I should get Brittany a pair of them glasses for Valentine's Day? I think I don't so. know. I think she would like them. Do you? Yeah. How yeah. do I look in them? Everything up here is more brighter. More brighter. It's That'd be clear. bad if I take my hat off. It's good and clear. It's good and clear. Good and, clear. and if you got a food plot that's not really green, with these, when you look at it, it turns real green. <laughs> Instant fertilizer. Exactly. <laughs> it's, it's, it's got a sunny pair of glasses yeah, there. He looks through wins. the whole life. Uh, what'd wow. you do this weekend, old man? Anything? Laid around and rested. Rested, he said. What'd, yeah. you, what'd you watch on TV? Huh, Westerns. The new channel. Well, that's Grit. a given. Grit. There's a new channel? Yeah, Grit. I've been around. Uh, that's not, uh, not new. Maybe new to you. <laughs> well, it was new to me because yeah. my wife has been slashing all the TV. Oh, he ain't going nowhere for a month now. Oh, no. He, he got to watch it's everything. It's just continuous Westerns, and, mm. you know, you fast forward them through the commercials. Yeah, so, no. And these are old, and it tells you, you know, what year they was made. Because I watched one the other night, Willie Nelson, Barbosa. Willie Nelson? Yeah. Mm. It was a good the one. The singer? Huh? Yeah. Yeah. You fast forward through the commercial? Yeah. I thought that was your How favorite. do you know them all then? <laughs> <laughs> I'm just saying, well, hey. What are you going to spend all your fortune on if you're not watching commercials? Yeah. How do you ever find those glasses? No more box. <laughs> yeah. He ain't fast forward. Uh, oh, yeah. Yeah. Uh, yeah, I fast forward to him. Huh. Uh, then he now, just, now that I can see it, don't take just a glimpse. But when Ellick was got any of them steak knives, uh, not yet. Sai, <laughs> now that he's fast forwarding through commercials, is really going to be rich. We thought he had money before, yeah. and he was blowing it on stuff like Battle Vision. So is it true, like you can still retain the commercials as you fast forward to them? Do you know what commercials just went by? Probably so. Yeah. I, I've watched so much, yeah. I would imagine the grit advertising is probably very distinct. Towards. Well, it's probably, yeah, yeah. Imagine there's a lot of Medicare Part B plans being talked oh, about yeah. on They there. know their audience. They know their audience for <laughs> sure on grit. <laughs> yeah, parts A, B, C, and D. <laughs> They're selling gun holsters <laughs> oh. in Medicare. And Silver Eagles. <laughs> yeah. Because it's a good investment, man. Yeah. I love marketing people. Hi. They make me giggle. Oh, Goblin, what about you? Oh, you went deer hunting last went night. Went deer hunting, yeah. Miss Paula didn't, didn't strike? No, we've been close so many times. Hey, Paula's becoming a star. Paula Goblin? Yeah. Star. No, she's always, uh, she's always no, no, been no. a star. Oh, no, no, yeah, but I'm talking about sitting on a deer stand. She's, she's rapping now, songs. Oh, yeah. That's old buddy Clark. Oh, sending that stuff. <laughs> oh, I was like, Paula get to rapping. I ain't ever seen oh, that, yeah. but I'm oh, interested. Yeah. They I got that interested. app. They got that app that makes your oh, yeah. pictures move. She's a good. Oh, yeah. She's a good lip singer. Mm -hmm. you know? Can't touch this. That's that. She got hammered down. <laughs> I know that song. You ain't ever told her that. Uh -oh. <laughs> 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 ever. I know better than that. <laughs> <laughs> no, not uh, never. Unless it was your feet. Yeah. Yeah, don't touch him. God was ticklish. You don't like your feet to be touched? He ticklish. I'm ticklish. On my feet. How you got, <laughs> well, you I done got that? better. I done got better at it. You done got uh, how do you know that you've gotten better? Oh, she took me to one of them people works on your feet where they do them, they paint them your fingernails. They you went and got your toenails painted? No. He just got a pedicure. Is that what it's called? You got your feet washed and scrubbed. They put you, they, they, you soak in them in the water, and then they come in, and then they take this, oh, man, it looks like a cheese grater. Yeah, Brittany did that to herself yesterday. 
with a cheese grater. Uh huh. And then she come hopping in there because she done got a little too close to that big toe, took a little meat off. Uh oh. Uh oh. Uh oh. Yeah, Look I mean, that. that's. <laughs> yep. Uh oh. You can you can blood trailer walking through the house. I said, "Dad, gum! I found deer with less blood." Oh yeah, yeah. So you just got the bottom of your feet shaved off the other day? Oh, they do all kind of stuff. They they uh, clip your toenails. I was wondering what that what. And they wash your feet. Is that the one where they got like fish in the water that like clean your feet? And I ain't never seen no fish off of it. Yeah, nibble on dead skin cells. I ain't never seen them. Did you give them a tip? I don't know, Paula Page. It looks like that. a wood file. I would hope. That, I would hope that whoever got Godwin's feet got tipped. <laughs> well, he don't ever wear shoes. Well, he's got pretty feet though. I do. Just ask me, I'll tell you. <laughs> That's right. Pretty feet, Godwin. They look yeah. like his tabletop. Yeah, very right. flat. Flat. It's pretty flat. neat. Paula, she's flat. so excited that I go with her. You know, is she? That's a tip, boys. Do what your woman wants all summer. She'll leave you alone in the winter. So Godwin goes and gets pedicures. Yeah. Can I go? I with, like it. Can I go with you next time? Sure. Come on. They'll make fun of you like they I would. Me. I would feel like a horse that's going to the. Uh, oh, yeah. Guy? You'll feel like one. No, no. I'm serious. What's, what's the guy that does horse? Look, this is something I did. The horseshoe maker? Hey, time out. What? Let's take a break. Take a break. I got a feeling yeah. wherever we're going, because Godwin said, now here's what I did. I I need to know more. So we'll be back right after. Pedicures we'll right with the duck call right. right. Martin. What? It's coming up. What is? The most wonderful time of year. Oh, yeah. Valentine's Day. That's a good thing to look for when you got two young right. kids. Yeah. Um, yeah, you're going to have a blast. Yeah, you yeah. like mark it on the calendar. You might as well just go ahead and order takeout and... Light a candle and call it a day, big yeah. guy. I ain't order nothing. What are you hoping to get, though? I'm hoping, yeah. <laughs> oh, boy. Yeah, I'm in in present for oh, you, weirdo. Oh, okay. I, I wasn't sure, but, you know, I've, I've been looking forward to pampering Britney's posterior with Tommy John's. You know? Because oh. it is... <laughs> Valentine's Day, just like Christmas, is an acceptable time to gift underwear. It is. And why not give the best ones they make? The only thing wrong with giving underwear on Valentine's Day is giving bad underwear on Valentine's Day. That's correct. Look. There you go. And not to mention, when you and your favorite person are wearing Tommy John, you're that much more comfortable, so you can do everything better. That's right. And let the fun begin. (laughs) I'm just saying, it's Valentine's Day. From Tommy John's incredibly soft, breathable Underwear to playful Valentine's Day's pajamas and limited edition. 98% of men and women love Valentine's gifts from Tommy Jump. I don't know what the other 2% are doing because that's just crazy. <laughs> and it's probably because they have so much chocolate they can't fit it anymore. But thanks to dozens of comfort innovations like soft tri and micromodal fabrics with four-way stretch, Tommy John helps you feel the love all year long. That's why Tommy John doesn't have customers. What they got, We got, got fanatics, baby. Well, say it again for the hey, people in the back. We got fanatics. There you go. We always crazy about them. Look, I love giving Tommy John, but sometimes it's better to give right. than to receive. Oh, no. In this case, I'd rather receive Tommy yeah. John's too. So, Amen. There's no risk because every gift is backed by Tommy John's best pair you'll ever wear or it's free guarantee. We love them. So will you get 20% off your first purchase at TommyJohn.com slash duck right now for Valentine's Day. Hurry to TommyJohn.com slash duck for 20% off TommyJohn.com slash duck. See site for duck. That's right. I don't think my wife gets pedicures. So, Godwin, what did you do? You you left us with, here's what I did. Well, f- so I finish what you're saying. What was you saying about that? I'm trying. What is it, a farrier? Is that what you yeah, call a yeah. guy that does horses? Yeah. Mm-hmm. Takes care of horses, horses, hoofs, sure. and puts shoes on them. Yeah. Because he's always following them and then tacking them and all that kind of stuff, y'all. I'd feel like an animal. A farrier. Yeah, well, yeah. the first time I went, I kind of, I, I was looking at all this stuff, like, because they got their little deal, and they unroll it, and they got all kind of sharp tools. Oh, no, 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 it. yeah. And you're thinking, this ain't going to be good. Yeah. And they got these, these uh, look like wire pliers, where you cut, and they go down. Like beside. side cutters? Yeah. <laughs> But look, he said, "Water plot." They go down beside. You. They don't go across like your toe. They don't go across your toe. They go this way, and you're thinking that's fixing to hurt. Wait a minute, but you never feel it. 
I don't, they put some kind of, they got this squeeze bottle of stuff and they squeeze it on your toe and they rub it in a minute. And I don't know if it deadens you. I think they sound like they're oh, numbing no, your toes. but it looks sound like, like it, you're numbing their toes, your toes. It looks like it ought to hurt, but it don't. Well, they can spear you and then you're just sitting there talking. Okay, see, the first time she done it, she clipped off her and she, said, she, went, she showed it to me like she got a trophy or something. She said, your toe hurt now? I said, no. And then she kept on rubbing my feet, and then they had this kind of scrub lotion they put on, and they scrubbed your ankles and your feet and all this. And no, I think pretty I'll, good deal. I think I'll pass. I think I'll pass on that. Look, then she took out waiting. the first time. Then the, the uh, she took out the cheese grater. No, no. And I that, said, this that, is show sure enough going to hurt. That's the thing that scared me because the, when I watched but it the ain't, lady. It don't, you don't feel it. it did, she but took, she, she does took, this, and there's eight pounds of meat on it. No, no, that's why I'm saying. That's a good way to lose weight, Godwin. No, no, that's why I'm saying. I for The one I was watching, it, it looked it, like a, 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 I can't think of the name. Yeah. It, it gets wood, shaves wood. She had something like that, grabbed the lady's foot, put it in her on her knee, and then was just on the bottom of her feet. And I mean, there was skin flying everywhere. That's that cheese grater. Yeah. Yeah. Now, I ain't going to. You're that. thinking, she's hey. bound to get down to the quick here in a minute. I'm out. A nothing Nothing ever happened. I've I, always wondered, is the quick a technical term, or is that just something us rednecks say? I don't know. You know what I'm talking about? The know quick what is when you get down in the blood. It's not blood. Yeah, yeah, it, it gets, hurts. Yeah. yeah, it hurts. It hurts. Yeah. yeah. So I don't know. I always but wonder if I got because you stop that quick. But let me tell you, <laughs> when, it happens. When, when she gets that thing on the bottom of your feet and you ticklish. No. no. Yeah, you go to squirming. Yeah, see, I'm out. Yeah, see, that's what Brittany said and, yesterday. She said, you, you ought to try this. I said, my feet, I'd kill somebody if I was fixing that. Well, when, like, you, when like you ticklish and you're jerking, like you're trying to jerk your foot away from her, yeah. she's like, no, you, you ain't going <laughs> nowhere. <laughs> <me back." laughs> I'd be like a mule. You'd be there, and then you'd be flying. I bet you wouldn't. Oh, yeah, I bet I would, because I, I ain't going to do that. Here's what I know for certain. When it comes to strength and legs, Godwin got you beat. Let me tell and you. if she can't get if if Godwin can't get his little stump away from her, you ain't getting them little chicken legs away I'll from her. That, <laughs> I can guarantee I'll tell you, that. you a woman that sits there and does that eight hours a day, one right after another, you ain't getting away from her. Well, <laughs> number one, I won't have to because I ain't going to. Well, I'm telling you, once you get through the terror of doing it one time, no. I, I kind You'll go of, back. I kind of feel like we need to we do going. a duck call I'll room pay for from the, uh -oh. from pay the for spot. We uh -oh. going. Can I do it with my socks on? No. No. I. I no, hey, what I'll do, and I'll give them a I can treat. see the title now. Uncle Si gets a pedicure. No, 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 no. No, no. It's I'm, a hit. I, I'm going to have a stand-in for me. No, look, you, you ain't. You yes, I am. Oh, yeah. look, you already got safety glasses on. No, you ain't no, going to get no, no, no. shrapnel. He no, going to no. need safety glasses. It's going to be like dumb and dumb. Oh, no, no, no. No, no, because I'm going to let Phil go. Phil Robertson? Oh, Phil Robertson <laughs> go. Yeah. <laughs> Goes, hey, of all the things we hey, can talk you into, no, you no, got no, him to no. answer the phone. Quit while you're ahead. Oh, no, yeah, no, no. Right. I want to see what they're going to do with them mud grips he's got called feet. Yeah. Because he's got the worst looking feet in this world. If we could get Phil Robertson to go get a pedicure. <laughs> no, it ain't happening. First of all, we're going to have to. be filmable, and hey, it would be what? Epic. First of all, we're going to have to call DeWalt. World class. See if they can send yeah, some 20 volt class. brushless. Cause, <laughs> gotta yeah. get a grinder. In yeah. We're gonna have to do something to soften yeah. it up. That water ain't enough. Hey, but look, it all man. looks like it's gonna hurt. But once it's over with, I your would do feel so good. You're like, he's the only man I know that, that hey, can go up a muddy hill and not slip. He got cleats built in. He, he's got mud grips. Yeah, they ain't much of a cleat. They're more like a spike on the side. Oh, no, I'm telling you, he's got mud grips. If he walked yeah. up to you and kicked you with the side of his big toe, that, you won't talk about hurt. Oh, that reminds me of my aunt. He always <laughs> said he could get up a hill <laughs> quicker no, no. than anybody. That reminds me of my aunt. She what? didn't kick you, but every time you ate a meal at her house, she's going to pinch the blood out of somebody at the table. Ooh, pinch them? Yeah. 
She would, she would, her big toe and the next one to it. With her feet? With her two toes, the big toe and the other one. Why ain't she got no shoes on at dinner? Uh, the woman didn't find Why do you want to wear shoes anyway? Hey, she, this hey, is. You people wild, uh, No, 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 this is a I got my sure quirks. enough country girl. Okay, she, she don't say, wear shoes. What would she say about your glasses? Huh? She'd like them. Okay. Yeah, yeah. We're still on them. But she I would. I not. I'm sitting here staring would, at her. She would cut you with them big toe, that big toe, and that next toe. Are, are we really going to all go get. I don't think I'll do it. I'll do it. I, I don't know that I can. It's the first time that terrorizes you. I don't like people looking. Look, I'll be sitting there. Do they have blindfolds? I mean, I think I'd be more in tune if I couldn't see what now was going on. Now you gotta watch what's going no, on. No, I can't. Because no. you're gonna think, man, that's gonna hurt. Because the reaction of me is gonna be to kick. Mm. Now again, I I agree. Your Stephen, your your leg's gonna be stronger than mine. But my first reaction is gonna be stop that right now. I just don't. <laughs> it's never be like, gonna get to that point unless you're ticklish. I'm very ticklish on my feet. Where Very you, tick. That's why God put them all the way well, down the there. The second time, my left foot. That's why more, I put them six foot and four inches well, look, away from me. My <laughs> left foot is more ticklish than my right foot. So does that mean you're right brained if you're left footed? No, I don't know. I don't know. Godwin's also learning about himself through this process. Yes, because I can stand it. I mean, it tickles, but I can stand it. <laughs> but on that left one, that left one moves. <laughs> left one moves, y'all. Yeah. And they laugh at you and they talk, but they talk in their language. You can't understand them. <laughs> so you don't know if they there talk about you or not. Hey, they are. They talk in toenail. Yeah. That's what they're talking. But they laughing and giggling. Uh, That's Yeah, I can't do it. Oh, yeah. I'm out. I got super ugly toenails, though. I don't I'm like out. looking at them. I, you won't when you leave her. <laughs> I still would. That's right. They'll get rid of. They'll get rid of. Mine are like weird and small. I don't want people looking at my size. Size over here just going to bat for him. He's like, no, I need to stand in. No. Oh, I ain't going. (laughs) How about this? I'll do it if you do it. He's scared. Hey, yeah, I'm scared. Hey, look, you get a hand grown toenail, don't go to the doctor. Go there. Hey, look, you're talking about a cheese grater, okay? This boy eats a lot of cheese. Well, it's not sharp. Oh, hey. Yeah, it is sharp. It's mild cheddar. Any, hey, hey you anything probably, that will. Probably put you a plate of lasagna down there. They just top it off for you. <laughs> I'm telling you. <laughs> yeah, they top it off. Man, I was like the person at the, tonight. like the person at the Olive Garden, son. <laughs> hey, yeah, you, you don't cheese or without. <laughs> well, I tell you, you do look down there and think. That come off my foot. I don't think I got a lot of excess skin on See, my here's, Oh, I, yeah, you do. You just don't know it. I think here's my one... And it gets worse as you get older. My one thing with them. Look at there. Uh, oh, that's yeah. A, that's I can, a pretty I'm, foot. I'm going to have about to be. about a pound off of that. <laughs> well, I'm, in, I'm trying to lose weight, so. Oh, it'll, yeah. I'm going to have to go first. Like, as soon as the place opens. Nah, we'll go. Because the fact if I wait till like 2 o'clock and think of all the foot shrapnel that's been in there. Oh, right. Right. Like, I can't. I, I mean, that's nah, like being, a little, that's like being a little, fourth in a hot tub. They like, got no. a little liner they put in there. I'm not talking about in there. I'm talking about in the plate. Like, just well, well, they put fish skin, in the bucket just, and have them chew stuff off my feet. I'll do that. I've never seen that. That one's the only one that interests me. No, but I bet you could offer it at the honey hole in the shiner tank. Hey, I'm going to get what, some shiners and put them Well, just go sit in there and put your feet in the shiner tank. Mm-hmm. See what happens. I just ha- invite them and let them do your feet over the shiner's tank. Oh, my God. No way they feed the shiner. Me. Well... Let's think about what we're doing, and we'll take a break. We'll be back right after this. It's time. Ready, set, go. Where are we going? Hey, where, my pillow. <laughs> <laughs> You're going to take a nap right now? Right. Yeah. Is there room for both of Look. us on your pillow? All right. No, because it's my pillow, Tommy. Oh, I was just checking to make sure. I didn't know. Hey, as long as y'all aren't no. sharing his towel. Hey, I ain't sharing my Look, pillow. Look, I'll share a pillow with Mike Lindell any day he wants to. I'll because share you know a why? Okay. His face is on it, so I can technically share one with Mike. That's kind of cool. <laughs> Whether you use the my pillow or you use the sheets, the towels, my slippers, my pillows, doesn't matter. It's all mine and it's all great. We love them. Brittany, still, she doesn't want to stick her smooth off in them slippers. It just says, I slip. 
That's that, it. Uh, do you, we don't know. I lost the M and the ERS. She doesn't warn them so much. That's it, what I'm talking. Yeah. I wear mine every day. It's unbelievable. Oh, it's. I used to have them fancy name brand ones, but these are way better, and they're mine. Yeah. They're my slippers. There's no question who's they are. <laughs> they, they say it right there on mine. Right now, you do not want to miss my pillow's best sheet prices ever. All Giza Dream sheets are on sale for as low as twenty nine ninety nine with promo code Duck at mypillow.com slash Duck. That's 50% off. The MyPillow Giza sheets are made with the best cotton in the world. They're ultra soft, breathable, and come in a ton of color, styles, and sizes. They're also durable and stand up to frequent washing no matter what your kids or pets may throw at them. And the deep packets, they're easy to change. That's what it is. Order now because they have a very limited supply. There's 10-year warranty and 60-day money-back guarantee, but you're not going to need either one of them. You've got to check out all the great specials from MyPillow. Go to MyPillow.com slash Duck! And use promo code Duck to get up to 66% off and get the MyPillow Giza sheets for as low as $29.99. Again, just go to MyPillow.com slash Duck and use promo code Duck. Or you can call 800-969-3137 and use promo code Quack Quack. Duck. Not Quack Quack. Use <laughs> promo saying, code Duck. Duck make Quack Quack sound. Here we go. Order now because when they're gone. They're gone. Godwin, big time. Godwin, but see, it makes sense because I know one of Godwin's best friends is Al. And Al been getting pedicures. Al read that part of the Bible where they's washing feet, and Al said, I need to get in on that. Al the big pedicure guy? I didn't know he done that. Oh, yeah. I, I Yes, Brittany has sent me pictures of Al in the nail salon. By himself? Huh. No, Lisa's generally okay. there. Generally. Oh, yeah, I ain't going generally. by myself. I just can't do it. Go by myself. Yeah, you're. Going, I'll go with you though. A buddy system. Yeah, I yeah. like your reasoning. You're do. You Paula likes going. You find something you can do with her, and then I'm. I dig that. I just can't. It. It seems like torture. No, nope, it ain't. I know. I, I'm not saying that. It oh, just, when she it, unrolls that tool bag, you're gonna think torture. See, but I need it. A, ain't. I need one of them masks that you put on on a plane. You need one of them horse blinders. And I need one of them pillars, and I just sit yeah. there and just think no, happy thoughts. Oh, they got you a vibrating tire. A what? A vibrating tire. It's got all oh, they, kind of knobs. Oh, they're giving you buttons. a massage. So they while surround they're doing you. All that. I oh, yeah. It. You're sitting I get there. it. Oh, I get it now. They surround you with all sorts of distractions to keep you from what's really going on. I must Which say is this. like some criminal mind stuff on your feet. You know what they definitely have in their bathroom, though? A bidet. <laughs> I ain't never been in there. He ain't never been in there. He's just having. Well, I quit he, going. He's just going. <laughs> he's just going with the the pedicure. He said, "You can touch my feet. Keep that hose thing away from me." Yeah. Uh, well, that was a wild ride. I just never know. You never had goblin pedicure. That's what you did this weekend. No. Oh. I need to go, Luke. <laughs> How many times would you say you do this? I'm just curious. Every other month, they're like, I don't know. Do you get any polish on your toes? No. Any clear? Oh, they asked you. Do they? Yeah. I said, no, I don't want nothing on there. She said, well, some men do. I said, not this man. Not this man. We should get it together and then write out a message across our 20 toes. Well, you do have 10, don't you? Yeah. Okay. I didn't know if you. That makes sense. Five on each side. Hey, why not make them pretty? If you're going to do that, you might as well say, go ahead and paint them too. Oh, they party when they leave. Party enough. No. My you got to go. Hey, if you're going to do it, go the full route. No. This coming from a man that said he ain't going. And I, and I ain't going. Listen to him. <laughs> but, but I will try to get you to go all the way. Yeah, see, that's a problem. Mm-hmm. Me and Si, if I, we'd have mm-hmm. grown up together, I'd be dead and he'd be sitting there laughing. Yeah, because <laughs> he'd be yeah. making you do it. Yeah, he'd say, now you ought to oh, try that. Ahead. Okay. Go ahead and grab it. Yeah, watch yeah. this. Yeah. Well, no, no. I, so, I, you know. so what would it take for you to get a pedicure? Uh, like, if, can, no. we, can we offer something? No. Like a certain amount of fans well, say yes? No, I, ain't, I better no. not go there. <laughs> <laughs> no. I ain't going to say yes. <laughs> <laughs> Silas Merritt. You need to do it. No. Like, if we you get. You brought up the word. You go at one time and you'll great. go back. It's like. And then in my mind. Potato chips. You can't do it mind, one time. I'm seeing this woman and she's got a big, it's a, like a fowl that they would use on a horse's hoof. Oh, you just remember dumb and dumber. That's yeah, for, that that's for the movie. Oh, yeah, man. that ain't. That Look, ain't, si, ain't if, no files involved. Si, if we yeah, get, it is. I've seen they, they, they got a, a file. They've turned their feet upside down. 
and then they just like a wood shaver. And I mean, the, Never seen the dry, hey, the dry skin is just flying. I every, must be going to the good one. Every time she scene. goes that. Si. What? If we get 100,000 subscribers on YouTube, will you go? <laughs> A no. hundred thousand. That's a if we, stadium. If we get a hundred thousand, no. Why not? Because y'all gonna want a family. Okay. No. Well, yeah. Well, yeah obviously. <laughs> well, we ain't Sorry, doing We this, gotta have something to talk about at your funeral. <laughs> okay. We can all say you it's remember right. that time. You remember the day that I got a pedicure. So okay. So not a hundred thousand. One hundred five. You'll 000. go back if you do it one time. One hundred and twenty thousand. Well, I want the works if I go. Well, ain't you put you ain't put some done. player on I there, buddy. Done. We'll do it. What color you want them? Huh? You purple? Don't you. Uh, hey, no, I've seen a lot of women that have their fingernails got each one of them different colors and even got some fabulous designs on them. Okay. Just Done. Hey, if we're going to do it, we're going to do it all the way. Boy. Done. So We're going tomorrow. Okay. I'm busy. Hey, That's man. awful quick. What about Wednesday? Let me see. What kind of animals <laughs> could I have them put on my toenails? <laughs> Well, a giraffe. Animal. Oh, hey. it a, no. giraffe, zebra, no. black panther. No, hey, you couldn't get that on my toenail. My toenail ain't the size of my little finger. Oh, that big I've seen good. that big toe. Right. <laughs> what is happening right now? Well, it sounds like oh, we're going to get pedicures. <laughs> <laughs> and size so getting old McDonald and, across hey, his nails. That's right. And I'm <laughs> going all the way, paint and all. Just to tell me when to show up. I uh, ain't doing the paint. I'm not, I'm wait a minute, hold it. That's I'm keeping my socks hour. on. No, that's part of it. Everybody's got to go all the way. I've been doing this for two years. I don't care if you've been doing it for 20 years. You fix to get it all the way. Gavin, I got, I, I'm in. I'll get everything I got hey, painted. Look, here's what you'll if do. If it means that man. They'll does. bring in, they'll do what dentists do. They'll bring in laughing guys to make it a, a good experience. Well, there are them that serve like wine and rosé and stuff. Right. We can go no, get half go buzzed or something. Gas. I like a party. Let's have a laughing party. Oh, well, I, now hey, we're do doing drugs. have a show called Laugh In. Does that make you laugh? Taking laughing gas? Yeah. Ain't well, it made you, me well, laugh. Made well, me well, unless you're the Grinch. I ain't never. Now the Grinch could hey, they could give it to the Grinch and kill him with it. This he still wouldn't laugh. The Grinch heart grew four sizes that day. Yeah, <laughs> haven't you ever seen it? <laughs> oh, Cindy Lou got him, huh? Cindy yeah. Lou, boy, are we really gonna do this? Testing. Absolutely, we're gonna. Where, do that. where? I need to know the. I need to look up reviews of this place. I, I got a lot of questions. I don't know. I, I don't care. I think most of them are BYOB. We'll just go to Goblin's place. He's got a guy. Or is uh, it a guy? Girl? It's. A, I ain't having no dude touch my. Face. I ain't never been I, to the same place twice. Uh oh! Whoa! Hey, whoa! Hey, now whoa, see that whoa, concern, whoa. That concerns me. Whoa! <laughs> I got is, a lot of is, questions now. Now this is kind of like your home field toy. Now, to you ask, need a place you got confidence. We'd in. Ask, ask, we'd have to ask Paula. Okay. You've never been to the same one twice, and you've been going for two years. This is a very small town. Not out in Calhoun. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. that's, that's just a joke. I no. Say. No, I ain't. I don't think I have. You just go whatever's got availability. Whatever she go, yeah. Whenever she pulls right. into, we go in. I trust her. This is, wow, that's like Russian roulette. Oh yeah, man. I this hate is, everything hey. about this. This is. Yeah, this I need is. some consistency built into this model. <laughs> this scares me. Oh, now you're gonna back out. I'm not gonna back out. I just said it makes me uncomfortable. I'm running out. Oh, there's one right beside the honey hole. And you didn't even know it. Yeah, no, I did. My mom goes uh -oh. down there sometimes. Big Jan goes we'll there. Go, we'll go there. My dad does it, but <laughs> my mom does. <laughs> Big Dave's out. <laughs> oh, Dave got to go with us. Uh, well, yeah, right. Yeah, let me go ahead and answer yeah, that. Yeah, let me yeah. tell you how peer pressure works on David Owen. Yeah, yeah, it don't. <laughs> he owns a tackle shop. That's it all don't. you got to know. <laughs> no, <Nope. laughs> He's the he's the one doing the pressuring. Not. Oh no! Now Beth's sending me different places. Oh, we got options. We can paint at this one. What? Is there? There's one that's got like rose all day or something. I've seen the ads. Oh, uh, I think this. Uh, look. And I'm not a rosé drinker, but if somebody's tickling my feet, I may be. <laughs> if you get the life of gas, you will be. I'm going to need between that and the, Between that and right. the complimentary Xanax I hope they give uh, you, we'll uh, be all right. You know, I don't. Have it. I'm, I'm seriously going to have to be blindfolded. Okay. If I see them break out a tool set, 
and go towards my feet, I'm out. Oh, I mean, got him a little tote bucket. See, oh, no. That's a, oh, no. A yeah. tote yeah. bucket. That's like hey. a mental hurdle. I'm not going right. to be able to jump. This like, place has six chairs, but I don't think Stone's coming with us. No, you ain't got to worry about it. We either. can ax him out. <laughs> um, Willie might go. Phillip's probably already got a reservation. Phillip's so, probably got a person that he goes to all the time. Yeah. I'll bring Brittany. Get somebody to watch the boys. That'd be fun. I'll watch the boys. No. <laughs> uh-uh. Not a chance. I may ought to take them. I, talk about rough, giving a daggum three-month-old a manicure and a pedicure. I, guess I, I wonder if they do that. I'm looking at his fingernail. Yeah, I was looking at my fingernail. What color do I want? <laughs> well, there's some redneck gentlemen on the Google reviews at this place. He's wearing an NWO shirt. so New World Order? Yeah, I think we'd fit in here. That's probably hey, not. That's probably not what hey, I want a, to that's do. That's the tattoo parlor you got up right there. That is one hundred percent. I'm that, gonna say that our nail salons probably aren't overly bougie in Monroe, West Monroe, but I'd like to go to the most expensive. Oh. <laughs> hey, if you're, if you're gonna do it, you might as well have the kinda, best. That's how I feel about tattoos for sure. Hey, like hey. I, I want this to cost a lot. Yeah. Otherwise, wow. you end up with my kid's name on my chest. Yeah. <laughs> All was, in different fonts. I was I was with you on the one though in Vegas. That one was expensive. Yeah, I was with you on that one. Okay, the best reviewed one, glamorous. No, TC. Where's this at? Is this all? Is that I mean, there's a hundred fifty thousand of these things in this town. Yeah, there's as many of them as there are donut shops and chicken places. They all have a common denominator. I'll let you determine what that is. Huh? I don't know what we're doing. I don't know. Figure it out during the break. We'll be back right after <laughs> here. Wow. So we're going to get pedicures. That's awesome. Yay! Allegedly. No, I'm I'm in. I'm I'm I mean, but if I do it without Brittany, I'm I'm in major trouble. I'm right with mega, si. mega trouble. I don't think Allison gets them. Really? I don't think so. I know Brittany does. Brittany likes getting it done. I try I to make sure she gets it done about every other week. Every other week? It's expensive. What? It's a very good investment on your marriage, though. Trust me on that. God one's right on that one. I've just never gone with her. Most of the time, I just send her. Like, hey, why don't you go get your nails done? And them guys come in, and they sit down. They come in with a girlfriend and their wife, and they sit by the door. I ain't going to do that. <laughs> I got way better no, stuff. If, I, if to do I'm going to take the time to go there, yeah. you put me in that chair. I ain't waiting. And that right. person behind the desk always say, Look, see what? And they try to get them to come do it. I love Godwin's accents. They're fantastic. <laughs> Godwin's, I just, I, real question. You've had this done a lot of different places. Is it a healthy mix of men and women that work on your feet, or is it like yeah. mostly women or men or? Yeah, I'd have, I've had both of them work on. Okay. I'm just curious. I got. I don't it's know the dynamics. A, it's of just places. who's available. I've just never been into any of that type of stuff. Like, I don't want to go get a massage either. I hear those are nice, but I don't want people touching me. I did it one time. A massage? A double with, with Paul. Couples massage. Yeah, couples there you go. massage. I, I got a massage. We was on vacation. Down at Ramon's Island. It felt pretty good. What? Ramon. In Belize. Huh? Belize. Oh, when you went down there. Yeah. 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 In Belize? And I, yeah. Were you a contestant on The Bachelor? This lady literally had me moaning and yelling. You need to keep going. Okay. No, no, no. <laughs> I need finish. you to clarify. Yeah, finish no, the story, no, bro. Look, yeah. Because, look, she would put her elbow. Okay. Some muscle. Yeah. That was knotted up. Yeah. And then she would literally chase it all over my body. And Boy, what, that sounds nice. And what were you doing? No, no. Deep and fishing. I was yelling. Because it hurt. Ah, okay, that just, boys. No, no. Oh, oh, I, after I got whoa. through. No, no. Oh. After I got through, I, I felt like I was about 25. I thought you were only 14 anyway. Uh, well, yeah. well, he's, he's, say, well, he's matured. He's right. trapped in his <laughs> old body. Matured. He's matured the last couple of years. That's right. Yeah, I don't, yeah. I don't know. That's pretty good. We got to do it. I guess we're doing we it. Might as well, let's wait till after duck season. <laughs> yeah, you don't want to get them all messed up. <laughs> I hope they forget. I ain't going to forget. I mean, we only got to make it a week. Yeah. Oh, man. Yeah, that way we can book the place. 
like reserve oh, spot? No. <laughs> is it BYOB or can you buy it there? I have no idea. <laughs> but Real question. There. Can it be like after six? No, it's got to be early in the morning. I'm not going after 25 people that have been through there. Right, and right, they're right. Okay, we're going shrapnel. first thing in the morning? Yeah, hopefully they've cleaned. Here's a better oh, no. idea. Oh, it's, they're they, all clean. Okay, I got, yeah, hopefully they clean it. Clean. And then we like to tell them. We'll I think I got a great morning. idea. You never know anything's happening. I think I got one. Go ahead. What if we, how long does the pedicure take? 52 minutes? I don't know. What if we shoot a whole episode while getting a pedicure? That's what I say. Yeah, take the headsets and everything. <laughs> Hunter, look into it. <laughs> <laughs> We're going to have to mute me because I got a feeling, I, unlike Godwin, who's mind over matter, I think when they get on my feet, I'm going to be, <laughs> I just don't want anybody to look at my feet. You can touch them. I don't want you to look at them. You, your feet make them make a lot of money. Yeah. There's I, all kinds of them people look, out when there. When they son. get through with them, you'll be a foot model. That's what well, I'm talking about. I mean. Right. Unless by models, he mean, right. mean private screenings right. on the internet. Right. You never know. They I may, could be a shoe model. You, they may let you walk the red carpet. I have nice ankles. After doing your feet. I just wonder what's really hidden up under size neoprene shoes he's been wearing for like seven Oh, years. I got beautiful feet now. Do you? Yeah. <laughs> No, no, I'm serious. I have got beautiful feet. I've had plenty of women tell me that. <laughs> so they've known you well. They've well, known you well enough to look at your feet. All right, well, I'm just saying. Has one hey. told you that in the last twenty years? Uh, uh, well, no. Of course. Oh my goodness. When has a woman seen your feet in twenty years? Uh, my wife. Oh. <laughs> and she says, "Man, hey. Si, your yes. feet." Hey. Thumbs up. Me and Brittany have a pretty strong rule. Don't ask either one of us to do nothing to either each other's foot. Like. Uh -uh. Oh, I got to give. You got a splinter in there? No, get that yourself. Here, I'll hold the mirror, but that's where that stops. I ain't touching it. Like, uh, -uh. My wife makes me give her foot rubs all the time. Oh, but, absolutely not. But she also <laughs> has to have socks on. Uh -oh. She don't want me to. Uh, and I'm, uh -oh. I'm cool with that. I got yeah, socks, on. Socks, socks on foot rub, right. maybe, yeah. Mark, Mark said, nope, no foot rubs. Hey, it, but that's hey, that's both sides of our marriage. Like, I don't ask her to do mine. She don't ask me. I, I did rub her feet when she was pregnant. Some, because she was just like, can you please? And yeah, Or she's pregnant. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah. She's carrying twins in there. Yeah, from I'm the sure weight. I would. From Did the her weight. feet grow? I don't know. Rumor has it, when you have a child, your feet grow like a size. Well, then I would suspect hers grew quite a bit, because she had two chi two children up in there. I don't know. This is what my wife says. But her Just feet from are, the swelling? I don't know. They just get longer, wider? I don't know. Beats me. I, I can't speak to that. I haven't paid that close. I ain't never thing. had a kid. I don't know. Don't look at me. <laughs> okay, I don't know. It's just something my wife said. Yeah, right. Polish toes. I'm in. Let's do it. Let's just do it after duck season. I'm going to show up. Sire, are you I'm in? I'm going to be happy. About He's it. in. Yeah. Let's make it a Mardi Gras. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's a good theme. That's the colors we can get. Oh, no. Bring it a Mardi Gras. Oh, we can have purple, yellow, green, oh, no. gold. Oh, yeah. I say lay bon temps for lay, baby. Yeah, let's roll. Let's do it. Like Johnny D is very uncomfortable. I'm right so now. uncomfortable with the fact that not only they're gonna the like one one person for me looking at my feet I don't really like. And then we're all gonna say they won't even and then the, we're gonna put it on the internet and it's gonna be like that episode of Duck Dynasty again. And they won't really even didn't like people looking all at my feet. They won't and even they zoomed in on them. Well, that's just because back in you couldn't see your feet. Now you can. That's true. <laughs> <laughs> I, I don't like the way they look. That's why I put cool shoes on. <laughs> Once they got uncovered, you were like, That's why he wears Nike. We're going to take a quick break, but we'll be back with the email section right after this. We're back. We're in the inbox. Hello at duckcallroom.com. That's the email address. Keep dropping us a line unless you want to call us names or something. Then why waste the time? There's like, only one. Yeah. I shouldn't have responded to it. You really shouldn't have. Kenny, we're looking at you, son. It takes different strokes to rule the world. Uh, we understand. <laughs> we understand you're from Tampa. It's a bad year, Brady. <laughs> I mean, he had a lot of things going against him. We're it's giving so, him what he wants. I'm not talking about him. But <laughs> as far as people connected to us from Tampa, we're like over two, so it's not really surprising. <laughs> um, right. That's only a joke that makes sense if you know our business. But anyway, anyway, yeah, Ryan. Okay, I'm going to try and pronounce Ryan's city name. Go ahead. City name? Pekka Tanika. That's I, pretty close. I mean, it sounds like it's right down the road yep. from. Yep. I don't really know. Or Pekka. Yeah, Illinois, Pecatonica, Illinois, Ryan. Um, so he saw a TikTok. I don't know what that is. 
Uh, mm-hmm. Martin Hunting with Jim Ronquest from RNT. Oh, yeah. Being yeah. part of Duck Commander and already getting to hunt with Phil inside in the gang, what was it like to share the blind with another hunting legend, a legend like Jim? And wouldn't that be – he said it, he thinks it's neat because that he would be our competition. He still heard cut him. In call making and TV shows, but then y'all got – together and still hunted together so he just see here is the beauty and i posted this on instagram last night a picture of me and jimbo jimbo well now what he doesn't know jimbo now works for drake drake waterfowl which is a clothing company um he doesn't work for rnt anymore he still blows an rnt but i looked over there at his lanyard and i saw a duck commander original reacher on there too so (laughs) careful the devil is in the details my friend um now that's an old the reacher is like one of the it's probably the second or third call Phil ever made outside the wood. It was like second. one of his first forays into plastic. So, yeah. I mean, it's um, been around a long, long time. But here's the deal about duck hunting. So, yes, I hunted with Jimbo. Jimbo is a dear friend of mine uh, who I met early on working at Duck Commander. He would work the shows for R&T. Me and Goblin would work the shows a lot of time for Duck Commander. We always ended up at the same places. But one thing that I knew about Jim was I had watched him growing up on DVD and stuff like that. And Jim Ronquist on a cut-down duck call is 97% mallard hen. He sounds just like a mallard hen. So I always <laughs> – aspired to sound like Jimbo on a duck call. Like, I mean, he is, he's fantastic. Like it's, it's unbelievable. So it was really cool for me meeting somebody that I looked up to in this game that we call duck hunting in the business world. Um, so it was really cool for me. I mean, I've known him for a while, but this is the first time I get to share a tree. I don't view Jim as competition. I view Jim as a brother. Even when he worked at R and T, I viewed him as a brother. I hunt with Rod Haydell almost every year. Haydell's game calls. On the business side, are we competition? Absolutely. On the human side, we're brothers and sisters. And I'm not worried about the business side. The business side takes care of itself. The human side is what concerns me. So as long as I can keep getting together with brothers and sisters. Look, I've hunted with a ton of small call company makers that are competition. But we're all after it for one thing. We're all tied together with the same lanyard strings. Ain't that the truth? And at the end of the day, as Jimbo would say, we're just a bunch of rednecks blowing on a duck whistle. It don't matter who we are. Just a bunch of rednecks. That's all we're doing. We're just a bunch of rednecks blowing on a duck whistle. And and a passion for anything is even more fun when you're sharing it with other people who are passionate about it. Look, Jim has killed more mallard ducks than I'll probably ever kill. He lives in the best part of the world for killing mallard ducks. And that's fun. And that's awesome. But let me t- we sat there by the tree. We didn't talk business. We didn't talk. We talked family. We talked friends. We talked about how aggravating the mallards were that we were hunting. We only killed 12 of them. But, you know, I challenge anybody else with that little skill set to kill 12 of them things. It was tough. It was rough. Um, so with that being said, and yes, I get to hunt with Phil. I get to hunt with Cy. I get to hunt with Jason. They're all great in their own regard. Like, I mean, we all, but we all share the same thing. We're all on the same team even though you can call us competitors or whatever you want to call us. So I think that is transferable to a lot of places of life. Like, yeah, Jim wears a different color camo than we do. Cool. I don't care. Is he selling camouflage? Absolutely. Does that mean people are looking at him and saying, I bet he hunts? Yep, I'm in. Does he wear different waders? Yep. Does he shoot a different gun? Yep. Different shell? Yep. Doesn't matter. We're all on the same team. And that is to teach more of y'all about it and show you how fun it is. So as long as we're doing our job, the rest of it take care of itself. But he is. He's he's he does a three note lick on a mallard call. It is. The only person or the only thing I've ever heard do that same lick is a mallard hen. And it's just ka, ka, ka. It's good. It may it make I ain't got much hair left back there and up there, but it make it stand up. So there you go. There you go. Yeah. Competition's a weird thing, though, because you want your competition to do good because that means more people are getting involved in what you sell. Yeah. Hey, Johnny D. Jacob Wheeler. A great. Got huge Academy logo on the side of his truck, side of his boat. fishing, sir. Would you go fishing with him? 100%. Okay, then. Yeah. It's it's (laughs) the thing. Competition makes you better. Makes you better. It 
And when the tides are high, all ships rise. And so, Amen. Yeah. Do I compete with Academy? Sure. But yeah. do I want them getting kids out there fishing? I hope that if you got an Academy gift card in Monroe, Louisiana, you went and bought fishing stuff from them. Yeah. There you go. Then you can come buy stuff from me later. Because the marketplace for fishing and hunting is we, we always say it's small, but it's actually really big. Mm-hmm. And there's enough there for Rich and Tone, Haydales, Duck Commander, Academy, Honey Hole, Bass Pro, Toledo Tackle. We can all eat. You name it. Now, <laughs> one of my really good buddies that I grew up in the business with, Adam Davis, he started as the buyer at Max Prairie Wings, moved to the buyer at Bass Pro Shops. He now runs Buck Gardner Game Calls. I consider Adam a very good friend of mine. He is, instead of now being my customer, he's now a direct competitor. We still talk and are very good friends. Very good like, friends. It's, it, that's just the way this thing goes. I mean, I, could I draw a line in the sand with all these people? Absolutely I could, but how miserable would that be? Yeah. Like, you know, I mean, you see all the football players after a game, baseball, all shaking hands and hugging each other. They just beat the snot out of each other for 60 minutes, and they get it. So that's what I'm saying. Like, there's – more to life than that, man. Yeah. Like, there's way more to life. And than everybody can make a great living. Yeah. Especially if you all grow the, the only one grow we, the entire sport. And the only one we're truly competing against is the evil one anyway. Mm-hmm. And our job is to whoop him every day. There you go. Now, that ain't one I'm comfortable bringing in my house. But anybody else that makes duck whistles, <laughs> anybody come. else that makes duck whistles, you come on by my house, I feed you. Come, come on, on in. Right. <laughs> That's good stuff. All right, what else we got? Oh, I thought well, I was ready. Oh, give us one more. One more. We got man. a little time more. built in here. One more. All right, Philip. Old Phil. Old, Old Phil. Phil. He doesn't have a town. Loves the podcast. Listen to every traveler. day. Tough one here. He's a traveler. He's a traveler. <laughs> uh, he works with family. Not a family business. Just happened to be in the same place for three years. Here's his question. How do I quit? without hurting the family relationship and keep it professional. Hmm? He's tired of working with somebody that he's related to. It's not a family business, but he needs to move on. But he doesn't want to sever the family relationship, but the work relationship, it's come time to sever that. Oh, just get out of there. Hmm. Yeah. Like, how are they? I mean, you just got, I don't think you got to be honest. Or, oh, that was, whoa, that, that came out wrong. Careful. I don't think you got to be like, yeah. hey, man, I don't like working with you. But I think you just got to be honest with the part of, I don't like working here. I found something better. Yeah. If you don't have another job lined up. Well, it's, it's just, I right, tell them, right, it's time for me to move on. Time to spread my wings yeah. and go. Yeah. Spread his wings and go. Yeah, I, I want to learn something else besides what I've, I've got here. Yeah. Also, I'm tired of being around you. Yeah. Yeah. I'm, that's what I was saying. You ain't got to say, I'm, I'm tired ain't no, of you. Start, ain't no hurt. Don't, ain't no, it's no reason to hurt anybody's feelings. No, and if you just go take another job, that shouldn't yeah. hurt their feelings. Yeah. I mean, I, they should be like, man, that's awesome. Another great opportunity. Try, yeah. Trying to better myself. Yeah. I think he's thinking too much into it. It'd be, yeah. if it was a family business, then it'd be a little different story. Yeah. Yeah, this is just cousins that work together, and one of them. Oh, yeah, deuces player. Yeah. <laughs> one of them's like, hey, bro, I got to get. Yeah, I ain't talked to some of my cousins this Christmas. We'll be all right. All right. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't even talk to some of them then. Yeah. Um, Preach it. All right, now let's get out of here. All right. Um, Ephesians chapter 3. Where was I? I give up. Ephesians chapter 3. There it was. What verse? Let's go with uh, 12. Verse 12, boy. In him and through faith in him, we may approach God with freedom and confidence. Jesus Christ came. He died for you. Three days later, he walked up out of that grave Paid the price for all of us. And because of that, we can approach God himself with confidence. And if you can approach the good Lord with confidence, yeah. there it is. You shouldn't have no problem with a lady. Mm, that's right. There you go. Get it, son. You can walk uh, in and say, this right. is who I am. I'm confident in that. If you don't like it, as I si said, Deuces, player. you just missed out hey. on the greatest oh, opportunity hey, you of your just life. Missed out I'm on going the to eat a pizza. Greatest thing in the world. Me. Yeah. All right. We'll see y'all next time. Yeah, let's go, let's go get a pedicure. Let's go get a pedicure, boys. I ain't right, going boys. to pedicure. Pedicure.